Hi, I'm Adrian and I'm hoping that this is going to be the first of a series of videos looking at the limiting beliefs that can sometimes hold us back in life and simple effective ways of overcoming them. In this first video I'd like to talk about a very interesting mindset reframe which I don't really see written about very much online so I hope you find this video useful. So in psychology, there's a very useful idea known as the locus of control. Locus is a Latin word meaning place or location. In this context, locus refers to where an individual thinks that the influences of their life lay. For example, does one believe that the influences of their life lay in external chance events or are they defined by deliberate internal intent? Now there are two loci where we can attribute the influences of our life, either internal or external. Now somebody with an external locus of control, or ELOC for short, believes that external events define them and that their fate is kind of controlled by the whims of destiny. Whereas someone with an internal locus of control believes that they are solely responsible for the outcomes of their life. They ultimately take responsibility for what happens to them, whether that's good or bad. An ELOC mentality is usually adopted by someone who, through past conditioning, feels that they can't take responsibility of their life. They feel that their life satisfaction is a result of luck or fate. This can sometimes be a result of learnt helplessness, which I'll be talking about in a future video. An ELOC mentality, however, gives an individual belief that they are in control of their life, that whatever happens in life, they ultimately steer the course. Success to them is a hard-earned reward and failure is merely an opportunity to learn and grow stronger. As with all character traits, our life events and unconscious childhood learning kind of determine where we fall on the continuum. But thankfully, simply by being mindful of your locus of control, you can actually train your brain to live much more effectively. A wonderful example of ILOC in action comes from a research paper by Olina and Olina in 1998, and I will put a link to that in the description. They interviewed 532 survivors of World War II. They found that 406 of the survivors described themselves as having an internal locus of control. These were the brave men and women who not only resisted Nazi instruction, but actually helped prisoners of Nazi persecution. The remaining 126 of the survivors were far more likely to complicitly follow orders. And research has demonstrated time and time again that the more influence we feel we have in our lives, the healthier and happier we become. So when you're next faced with a tough situation in life or things don't work out the way you want them to and they're not going to, it might be worth taking a moment just to ask yourself, are you allowing external events to control how you feel or is this an opportunity disguised? An opportunity for you to take control, take responsibility and ultimately steer the course of your life. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. I'm going to be uploading more videos around psychology, philosophy and mindset. So. If that's the kind of thing that interests you, please consider subscribing to this channel and I hope to see you again. Thank you very much for watching.